I did this video um, September 28th and today is October 7th. I finally got a chance to edit it. So I even forgot what I did that day. Um, so I'm gonna go on in my record to see what I did. Um, let me see. Uh, right now what I'm doing, from now on when I do my exercise, before I do my major workout, I start with abs. And um, because of my sciatica, I cannot really do uh, spine flexion, like crunches and things like that, well, uh, when I'm on the floor or sitting on a bench and bring myself up or lift my leg, uh, you know. So anything to, for now, just for now, uh, anything to avoid uh, triggering my lower back, I try to avoid doing it. So um, what I do is uh, those kind of uh, resistant crunches. I don't know how they call that. I believe that's resistant crunch. So um, I have a way of doing them where um, I start really far back. I think I have um, a video that I was showing my abs, my uh, oblique. A video where I explain how I do them. I don't because I'm so behind with so many things and I have ideas each time I record some of my exercises. I forgot which one is which. So um when I do this exercise I put the resistant I turn myself really far away from the pulley and I have the handle behind my back um, so I put the resistance behind me and I do about 20 reps while I keep my core tight and then I turn after I do 20 repetition I turn slightly and I do another 20 rep and then another turn I get a bit closer toward the pulley the resistance um, I do another 20 so usually I do 60 reps on, on one side and then you know I'll switch and do the other side. So that's usually what I do every time I before I start my workout, and it works wonders. Many people might think I have magnificent abs, but no, it's only my oblique that really shaped up. And as soon as I'm fully ready to do the abs the way that I really want to do them, and then my lower abdominal will look much better. But um, I do have, I mean, as long as my oblique is pretty, for now, for now, and it's not the summer, we just, <laughs> we're in October, so um, it's okay. But um, I'm preparing myself by the summer to get my uh, mobility uh, work much better, and uh, so I can start doing my uh, lower abdominal exercises. There's one way I do again, where I just focus on my lower back, um, where I, you know, do some punches. I had stopped the, the video while I'm talking. Um, hopefully, I cut this up. Anyway, um, there's a part where I do my lower back uh, with the resistance while I continue with one side. That's one way of keeping my, um, how do you call this? You know, how do you call it? Uh, a lot of pressure, a lot of uh, repetition on one side. And then after that, I will go and do uh, some chops. Um, I will bring the resistant uh, mid-level, usually um, by my abdominal area. And I'll do, sometimes I do 12, but I try to do about 20. And this, you know, that's one way of targeting the oblique and the abdominal also. I was just showing um, my uh, heart rate, 196, and that was my first exercise. I already burned 11 calories. The, uh, the band-aid on my um, uh, delt is from, um, what is it? I did that video a couple of days ago. Um, the day prior, I had gone to uh, my 
my doctor just for a regular checkup it was the it was time for me to do my regular checkup so this is for the flu shot usually um, even though my lower abdom abdominal is not well shaped up um, as long when I see it getting out of control all I have to do is fix what I eat once I fix what I eat it, you know it matches it you know my lower abdominal bangs comes in and it matches my obliques and it makes me look as if I have perfect abs I mean I've been eating right but sometimes I um, let's say for instance I will eat if during the day I'll eat what I really need to eat and then once uh, I do food for the kids not that they're not healthy but they're not the tip kind of things that I'll eat um, and then it will add up to my calories and you know when you have kids you have to you know you want them to eat but if they don't want to eat what you really want them to eat you just have to do some stuff for them to eat something you can't leave them starving so I will be frying you know eggs for them and just love eggs with white rice. Uh, he loves uh, ramen noodles. Uh, what, what else? Uh, eggs and hash brown and all this stuff. So sometimes when I cook the hash brown for them, I will you know take a little bite here and there. So if throughout the day when I'm by myself, I will eat what I need to eat, and then when I cook for them and I put a little bit here and there in my mouth, and it brings that abdominal out as they get older hopefully I will get um, they will understand why they will have to eat the, um, the things that I really want them to eat uh, my little one you know he's a tough one he will not eat if I tell him to eat what I really want him to eat He'll rather starve. The food will stay on the table. He will cry and make noises. People will think <laughs> I'm beating the hell out of my kids or something like that. You know, if I'm trying to force him to eat and things like that. So sometimes you just have to let them do the things that will make them eat something. So I keep on coming to show her. My heart rate was two. What is it? Two eleven. I forgot what my calories was. So these kind of exercises really help. And um, one thing I try to do is my back. That's one thing I... It's two things that I like to keep in shape. My back and my abdominal. My back, I can't see it. But, um, but I really... It really brings out everything. It... Uh, that's just my view. When you wear a, a, a clothes, when you're sitting upright, and especially if you have a nice clothes on, if your back is really shaped, I'm not talking about bulky and look masculine or anything, just shaped. No matter what kind of clothes you wear, you, look, you will look good. One thing that I I think I sort of said mention it. I will do one side. I will do all the reps on one side to keep uh, the resistance and the pressure uh, on, the, on the side, on the abdominal side that I'm working on. Um, I'll do all my uh, up to 60 or 80 repetitions on one side, and then I will switch. Especially if I if I have the energy, sometimes I even go further. I, I will add more repetition. I'll, I can do at least 30 rep where my uh, the resistance is far away, and then another 30 um, a little bit close up, and another 30. So sometimes I do up to 100 just on one side. Depend on how I feel and the amount of energy that I have. If I feel like I don't have that much energy. I'll do 20 and if, if I'm really feeling crappy that day the most I'll do is either 12 or 16 but 20 is usually the reps that I do and for maximum energy it's 30 reps and uh, I keep on adding and adding until I do about 100 so repetitions. and here I 
I get a little bit closer to the pulley, that's where it's a little bit easier. And it may seem like I'm not doing anything, but the core has to remain as tight as possible. Tight to get the maximum uh, result. And that's why I was showing my uh, heart rate uh, watch to show you that even though I'm doing just turning, turning, uh, if the core is tight, the heart rate goes really spikes up really quickly. And you lose a lot of, uh, you burn a lot of calories. And I decided to do another part. This time I'm sort of trying to focus. This is one thing people cannot teach other people. I'm trying to target my upper oblique. There. It's, it's hard to explain unless if you know how to work those muscles. You keep all the core tight, but when you turn, you try to turn a little bit higher than the other one, uh, the other movements that I've done before. And you know, it's a little bit, it's like the rib cage below your breast. Um, you tighten it. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to explain. And here I'm sort of focusing a little bit on the upper back um, under my armpit. And again, the core has to remain tight. One thing I try, I'm drinking coffee while I'm talking. One thing I try to do when I'm doing those um, exercises, very rarely you will see me lean toward the side, toward uh, the oblique side. It's either slightly in front or slightly in the back. Why? Because I don't want my side to be big. I'm not trying to, people want the, your, uh, your, how do you call this, that V taper. So when you, the love handle part area, the side of your uh, stomach. So if you, doing those crunches on the side you're bringing out those uh, that muscle the, your love handle so I want that to be small so either I do the crunch in the front or I do the crunch in the back and I move the camera I don't know why I moved it I guess to show a different area but whatever I think I was doing the other side now and if I yeah I think I remember why I did that I'm working the other side, my left side. So if I had the camera where it was, you most likely will not see my body turning or something like that. And, um, this, I think that day I was starting to feel like um, leg is getting a bit better and I should do some, uh, is it some, uh, not resistant, uh, functional, that's it, some functional exercise. Um, that day, what did I do? I think, yeah, what did I do? Let me look at my, uh, Let me look at my workout for that day. Okay, that day I did uh, abs, back, tries, and biceps. Okay, so um, I w that was the plan. And on that day, and I started thinking, you know, I need to do start doing some functional movements some functional exercise and I'm starting to feel like my leg is not really strong but it's much better than it before because um, I've been since I've been going to the gym after my sciatica I said the first month I did some stuff to focus on the uh, to rebuild um, my legs my strength and all the muscle tones that I lost and uh, things like that so I did exercises to actually 
bring my, my left leg to a more functional movement. I think I sort of said I'm done with abs um, and I need to do other stuff. So that day when I did this exercise I started thinking okay I'm starting to move a bit more freely even though my lower back is still a problem I need to start doing some functional movement. So from that day on even though I didn't do it on that day I started thinking what sort of functional movement I should do. As a matter of fact, today's exercise, which the video is not on yet, I will I did some of them. Now I remember why I didn't record all of my exercises. The camera died. I did not charge, charge it. So now I was working my potato cuff. Um, I was starting to warm it up a little bit. Even though I just did all those abs, it's part of the warm up. Um, so here I usually do it because this type of potato cuff uh, warm up just to make sure I warm that, you know those uh, joints and stuff really well so yeah this is why <laughs> now I remember that's why I didn't record um, the, the other exercises my camera died <laughs> so yeah thanks for watching and uh, that's about it and I feel better I, I, I think I did a pretty good warm-up um, a pretty good exercise that day it's unfortunate I didn't record it sitting on my desk and uh, yeah not, but that's when I realized uh, battery all right thanks for watching